This is well, the actually, Lunalite one. Lunalites. Okay, Lunalites. This is uh, Raphael Nevin's deck, who won a YCS with it, I believe, right? Yes. Uh, Chicago, I think it was. It's been a really long time. Was that the name of the YCS or a card? Uh, the city. Yeah, Chicago is like the fifth oh, biggest. Chicago. I thought yeah. you said Chicago. <laughs> okay. And I thought you said Chicago. <laughs> okay, this must be a new card. You look like card, I don't know. So, I'm pretty sure the only reason I win this duel is because of that maxi right there. <laughs> yeah, Red Reboot would have been pretty good there. Uh, <laughs> so, he draws Tenki, which is just cool. Like, great, that, is a good card. that this is what I want to see with my life, is Tenki. Because I know this matchup, I've done it so many times, and I know that one of my loss conditions is two Tenkis, and he's already got one of them, and I'm just like, so, welcome. Well, free, you just preemptively max seed there before a special summon, right? So Correct. Why, why have you done that for anybody who's, like, not... I don't want to see, game? like... First of all, there is no universe in which I'm not using this max C this turn. So why yeah. wait for a potential inherent summon like a Link One where I wouldn't get the draw for it? I mean, the only argument I'd make against that, and I found that on my own climb, is that if I have to get a draw to make my hand work, I kind of, if I if I just blind pitch it and my opponent passes, I I really needed that draw to win the game. I, I will try and get greedy with. It. Sure, but I'm but, especially with the nature of my deck, I'm never gonna need that draw. Yeah, that, that one draw is not going to make a difference. And if my opponent just passes turn, good. I would run a card that said discard this card from your hand and your opponent's turn. I would play 40 of that if you'd let me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, Time Wolf, which is a... <laughs> Imagine the Gathering card which just says, uh, take an extra turn for two blue mana, I believe. Very, very old card back uh, before we had the internet. Now, he's obviously, he's under max C, so he's not going to give me much, which is fortunate for me. He's just going to end on the drunk taper, which is fine. He's not drunk, he's very sleepy. Ah, yes. That's, that is all that you need to know about that card. <laughs> so, I, I am still on a very healthy seven cards to his six, which is a position I like to be in, especially since one of his cards is effectively blank. And I've already got a trade card, so trade a card. Get off the field, please. Thank you. Just go for a nice free 3k damage. And this will give me engage access. This can dump engage, go into Kagarian main phase two, and add back the engage. Like, there's no reason not to go for it. Uh, pretty sure I don't have three spells. Yeah, I've just got the one spell when I get the engage back. But, I mean, it yeah, is what it is. Not You're just going to play the engage anyway, right? Right. And you play the multi-roll. That way, when uh, Widow Anchor activates on his turn, it can get the engage back. This is the first, like, big misplay I do. I already know he favors this zone with the tiger, I should have put the imperm there and the uh, multi roll here. Like they're backwards. Uh, because then I'd have the ability to imperm like Kaleido Chick and turn off his tiger forever. Now, if he was good, he'd just bounce it with like Martin and put it in the other one and like good for him. But at the very least, I'd have like one tiger negate by doing yeah. that. Uh, I always put imperm or continuous speller traps in these zones. Because now if he wants to use Imperm on this, he has to take his Pendulum Zone away from himself. And I also have a higher chance of hitting something because people play Pendulum cards. Yeah. Okay, so... So, I'm just... Go I'm for Shizuku, yeah, going for Shizuku to get the add. I believe it's a Widow Anchor I go for. Yeah. Because it's at two, oh, and I've only seen one. Card. And yeah. you need your opponent's deck to win with Sky Strikers. <laughs> and you so. can't get engaged while it's already in your graveyard, so it is what it is. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, this is the Souls Garnet, so I could not play Souls that turn. Um, that happened to me six out of eight games, despite <laughs> my deck being 55 cards. It was really annoying. Hey, if you want to play Gem Knight Garnet in your deck, that is a risk you are going to take. <laughs> so You are going to draw it someday. He summons probably the most annoying thing possible, which is bounce all of your opponent's back row and get a body, so... So That's much for Valor. surprisingly good against the burn deck, by the way, guys. Uh, <laughs> when you get the uh, White Rabbit in, it starts like really putting you in an awkward position. So he's now played through a Valor. That, we'll call that like interrupt number one. And now here's Darumadol, which is going to pop Imperm. And I'm like, okay, well, now he's played through interrupt number two. And you've locked out that pendulum zone. And I've locked out that other pendulum zone. Okay. And Martin just comes back so he can tiger again. 
because this card is ridiculous, and even if I destroy it, its monster effect activates to still summon the monster anyway. Like, card is just wild. And then he plays the Foolish Burial in the bad zone. So he, he gave me a free... Like, he's already played through Valor and Imperm and then gave me a free card. And then his Danger Snake hits itself. He also loses out on that draw. Yeah. So that's so, okay. four I'm things. Stuff goes wrong for the opponent. <laughs> and here comes Interrupt number three. <laughs> he lost two cards and got interrupted three times. And he's still got more cards than I do. So you're saying Luna Light is definitely a viable deck on a ladder? Yeah, Luna Light, especially with Tiger. Like, Tiger in general is just the most obscene card. And then I don't even get my multi-roll because he still got to White Rabbit me at the end of all of it. And there's an Appaloosa. Like if that was an access code talker, this game would be over. Uh, access code would only be 53. I'm on 8k. I would have been fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, you would have you would have won. See, access code talker only answers to uh, to us. Like the opponent opponents can't win with it. Yeah. It doesn't work so <laughs> I, I use the Fleur de Lee to force one of those three negates that his Appaloosa has, and because of Shizuku, it's actually only two, which is nice oh, in its way. Cool. That's a neat little interaction. I hadn't considered that. Actually, Shizuku denying uh, Appaloosa won the gate. Go for Hayate. And then Widow Anchor. And I'm just going to lower his guy to zero and take it. And now, the only thing I... Like, he's got no interactions. I should be fine. It's not enough for a kill. Because Ray can't summon to this zone. She can only summon to the extra monster zone. Terribly okay. unfortunate. But I get to dump Rose in case I want to use the graveyard effect. Leave him on 2k, so even if I had the summon, it wasn't game. But I get to go access code talker for 4, and I used a link 4 as one of the materials. So it's actually a 6300 access code talker, which is quite nice. Pop is tiger. Still gets a free body when I do that, but whatever. Pop is eagle as well. And, uh, and you leave your opponent with tanky so they can't possibly get an imper. Right, uh, and pop the Martin as well. Like, God, I hate Luna Lights so very much. He gets the trap card that doesn't do anything in his hand. Now, he's just got a tanky and a harmless trap card. I don't care about Serenade Dance when a monster is fusion summoned blank. Like, good for you. I should have this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 if I'm sat on your side of the table, I'm feeling pretty confident. And he top decks the... Oh, oh yeah, I also get my Widow Anchor back with multi-roll. Yeah, he top decks the worst possible thing I could ever see. The second tanky. <laughs> to get another tiger. Yeah! And, now, if it was just a tiger, I still would have been fine. It specifically had to be second tanky. For the extra 100 attack points. So, sure enough, Kalado Chick. Out comes Light Dragon at Ignister. Play through my one negate. Because, of course, otherwise the thing just pops. And I'll take his guy... Which means he no longer gets these back in his graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Like, this okay, again so should be everything, but he still you're gets. All of the cards. Like, he still just has Tiger. Oh, this is so dirty. Like, Tiger is such an obnoxious card, and he gets to go into Fire Fist Tiger King at 24 because of two tankies and negate my monster effect. <laughs> and put me on 23. <laughs> 23. <laughs> I like you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you got to give back the uh, monster as well. Yeah. Oh my god, this is this is Yu-Gi-Oh at its finest. But I know this is tanky. I have perfect information, and perfect information is code for access code talker. Ooh, ooh, engage, engage. Access code talker. It's just yeah. Why that Chicken card is game, just too good. Draw card. Hey, you guys. You guys uh, definitely need one. You need one in your collection. <laughs> Draw two. Field spell for a monster. I think it props to uh, Danson, your opponent. They, like, from a pretty desperate position, they made this work. Oh. Oh, they're still alive. That doesn't seem good. They're not alive. Ah. That's game. Oh, you can't come back from Union Carrier, Kaiser Coliseum. Nobody can play through this. Even if they kill the Union Carrier, the snow comes back and they're still locked. To one monster, right? Yeah. Ah, and then they got to play through a uh, Widow Anchor. Yeah. 
<laughs> Still, the rabbit would have shoved it. Hey, Alex J sixty four, welcome to the chat. Uh, just going through some replays. Hopefully, uh, you you know, learn something or you have some fun while we're doing this. And he can just see the writing on the wall. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he just scoops it up after I like pop his guy. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Well played though. That Luna was, Light uh, is horrible. Like, oh my god, I hate that tiger so much. 